Hello, beautiful people of New World, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Lamani. And today, although it may be slightly late, I'm going to cover the best drops from Empyrean Forge because I can guarantee most of you sweaty nerds haven't touched it yet. So let's just talk about why you'd even bother diving into the depths of this eternal hell when you're in a pug and see what drops are going to be the most worthwhile for you to actually farm. So, starting off, I I'm going to start with a hot one. We have the Cleric's Walking Staff. For those of you who aren't uh, healing inclined, or maybe you just are dense and like to run into clumps, this is a best-in-slot option because AGS loves healers and PvE content, and when it comes to life staff drops, we have pretty much everything. But this is going to be Blessed Refreshing Move, Mending Protection. It's going to drop off of Lady Bridget, which is when you fight the two bosses at once. Very easy fight. But this is just a best-in-slot for an AoE healer because it has that Mending Protection on the life staff. So GG, get wrecked if you actually bought one before this patch dropped. This is a good starting point for how good some of these drops can actually be in Empyrean Forge. Next, we have a PvE option for those of you looking to fire staff in PvE. Human Bane, keenly empowered, refreshing move, although may it not be exactly best, this is still a very, very, very strong option because of how much crit you can have on your fire staff. And then you don't necessarily need the refreshing move, but when you're in PvE, you're going to guarantee hits all the time. And when you stack that with heavy attacks, you will be just absolutely pumping through cooldowns. This can drop from a billion different people in level 9 plus mutations, so good luck if you're not a PvE lord, but still a solid pve dps option next we have heart of fire and this is an interesting one because it can be a two perk health flame protection option for those of you who are playing an int build but for those of you who are healing most times us healers are going to be running void blade and have a void gauntlet so we will be scaling to around 150 int so we will have a guaranteed three perk int neck that we can use for fire protection weeks although shirking dot cleanse isn't the greatest thing in the world it can help a lot in pve content this will drop off the heel in just the regular version next up we have wandering expedience and this is an interesting dex option it has refreshing toast refreshing nimble now i will say nimble is not the greatest perk in the world and i would much rather have purifying toast but this can be a third perk option if you are struggling to get a three perk bis and just use this momentarily and for the time being it will drop out of any type of Empyrean Forge and it drops from pretty much any enemy so it's a pretty easy one to get. Next up we have Hand Warmer and this has Keen Vicious Refreshing Move. Although it doesn't have Unending Thaw on the Gauntlet and there's a lot of other things that may be a bit better it can be a three perk viable option for PvP and PvE content if you just want a filler item for the time being, it will drop off of Sir Bishop, so a pretty easy one to get as well. Next up, we have Heavy Knocker, and this will be if you choose to use your hammer in PvE content. We have Human Bane, Chain Fire, Keenly Empowered. Again, not Ultra Bis, but still a very good three perk option if you are planning to use a hammer and any type of human content. So just keep your eyes peeled for this one if you're choosing to use that hammer setup. Next up, we have Ranger's Focus, and this is a fantastic PvE option. It is medium, so you'd have to go a scuffed light if you're playing with any deck scaling stats, if you're using a greatsword, if you're using a spear, a rapier, anything, a hatchet, and you're looking to just get as much damage as possible. It's free human ward, which is expensive to roll right now. Physical aversion, so a viable third perk, and refreshing evasion, although it might not be the best and refreshing might be better. This is still a very, very, very solid option if you are a PvE game gamer and it is a very easy drop because it drops out of pretty much anybody's loot table next up we have warriors respite and this is going to be a solid option for tanks or anybody who's playing in a medium build if you're not looking to just maximize your damage it's a three perk viable option with con so you can flex it into any medium setup or a heavy setup you'll have human ward invigorated and refreshing again human ward and refreshing is two perk bis and we'll take whatever third perk we can get but this is just free if you want to use it it will drop off of sir Ducas. And next we have the Fire Lord set. Now you won't be able to get this unless you run the M1 version and it does drop off of the last boss. So it can be a little difficult to get the entire set. But what I will say is if you are a tank, this will be a three perk bis option. Again, we have Vigor and in there, there are a ton of bleeds. So if we can stack Vigor and get 50% bleed reduction, that's actually pretty bis. Now, if we look at it, all of them will have these perks. It's Human Ward, Vigor, Refreshing on every single piece. Now you can stack a bunch of materia, but you're just going to have to get this off of the last boss on any mutated version. So as you're climbing your codex, this can be something very valuable to hold if you ever plan to tank. And now what I believe to be the absolute most bis item in here, if you are a DPS looking to farm, is the Hunting Blade. Why? Because humans, they take the most damage from Slash, right? We cut off human limbs, cuts hurt. So Human Bane 
Trenchant Strikes and Keenly Empowered are like three perk PvE bis on a great sword because Trenchant Strikes were only heavy attacking. Human Bane is nuts. And then Keenly Empowered anytime we crit, well, every time we go into Onslaught, we get a guaranteed crit. So you're pretty much going to just be sitting at 15% in power every other cycle. You know, you have a 10 second cooldown on it, but for five seconds and you're just mashing out heavy attacks. This is very strong. It will drop off of Sir Eld in the normal version so before you do your codex climb you could farm this if you really wanted to but this is just a free pve greatsword and most dps who are trying to push this content fast will be using this so i highly 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 recommend getting this one now there's plenty of other drops in there but i just think these are the ones to highlight if anybody's still cautious to go in there maybe hasn't even stepped in there or has zero idea how to work the internet and doesn't know where the drops are so instead of giving you an entire list here are the ones that i have cherry picked and i think are the best I hope you're enjoying season one. And again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thank you to every single one of you beautiful people for being you. I don't know how I can say that so fast. And I've gotten so used to it because I've been doing it for a year. But anyway, I'm appreciative of all of you. I wouldn't be here without all of you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.